from this to this. Ciao a tutti. Today I'm going to be adapting a traditional Sicilian cake called Cassata Siciliana by using a, a pandoro, leftover from Christmas, decided that uh, I do something different and adapt uh, a Sicilian recipe. Uh, you can uh, use uh, a sponge cake, you can make your own sponge cake instead, or you can actually buy the sponge cake from supermarkets as well, which are already made. Clearly, if you make your own, it's even better. I hope you watch the video and you enjoy. It's fun to make and uh, incredibly rich, I warn you, but uh, incredibly tasty. I will start by making a, a cream with uh, some ricotta. Um, I made this fresh this morning. I've got a little uh, video on how to make ricotta by Umin. Have a look at it. But uh, here is the evidence for me cooking this morning the ricotta. And uh, I have uh, left it in the fridge for a few hours. And I'm now going to add some uh, icing sugar. and I will be mixing it. Using a rubber spatula I will be sifting the ricotta. This uh, will uh, make sure that uh, it is nice and smooth. To make it extra smooth I have decided to sieve it twice. Second time around is much easier. I will be adding uh, 50 grams of uh, chocolate chips. I'll mix them all together with my sieved ricotta and um, icing sugar. And uh, I'm going to leave this in the fridge now until I need it later. I will start by slicing the pandoro into one centimeter large slices, approximately one centimeters. I've put a few slices down on a chopping board and I'm pressing them with my hand to make them slightly equal. And with my donut tin I will mark it in the middle and with the help of the knife I'll just cut around the edges. Carefully I'll move them into a tray for later. And I repeat the exercise for the bottom part of the donut tin. Again, press with your hands. Try not to develop an area. And the, the bottom of the tin goes on top now. And we will cut it again. Using the knife, cut around the little hole in the middle. You do not have to use a donut tin, you can use a normal um, square tin or rectangular tin. Clearly I've got this one and uh, I wanted to make it a little bit more fun to do and uh, pretty. Again, very carefully try and uh, see if you can manage to move it on top of the other part. If it doesn't matter if it breaks up a little, we can always put it together. There. And we put this on one side as well. I've done a few slides of the Pandoro in shapes, all broadly the same size, and uh, I will put them with the rest of the Pandoro for later. I'm going to now put one of the pieces of uh, Pandoro against the tin and uh, cut it to the same height as the top edge and I'll be using this as a template for the other pieces of pandoro but also for my marzipan. So I've got some marzipan here which uh, I have rolled and I'll roll a little bit more. I will also roll this slightly to make it broadly the same thickness and I will model my marzipan the same shape as uh, the pandoro. I've put a little icing sugar in my tin 
and I will be placing uh, the Pandoro and the Massipan inside them in opposite directions. And there it is, they are inside and I'm now going to place the one of the circles for the bottom and as you can see they are effectively trapping the bottom of uh, the Pandoro little soldiers and the marzipan that are standing up. Next I'll be making some syrup. I've got here 25 grams of sugar, also some hot boiling water, the, some lemon zest and uh, some uh, liqueur. I'm using some uh, sherry brandy liqueur because this is what I've got but you can use anything uh, you, you wish. Port would be just as good or marsala wine. We mix it until the sugar is dissolved and we soak the Pandoro with some of our syrup. Back to the ricotta, we are going to be adding it uh, inside. we spread it evenly by pressing against the sides. Make sure you push down to the very very end so that you've got no air left at the top of the cake. Fill in some of the gaps with uh, some of the leftover Pandoro. In my case I have lined them up with the bottom of uh, the donut here, the, the center part. Go back to the original piece we cut at the beginning and place it underneath or place it on top I should say it will be underneath eventually press it down with your hands using your fingers to ensure that everything is uh, inside the tin and I will use the rest of the syrup to cover the base or what is going to be the base. Using a plate, strictly Sicilian in this particular case, I'm going to turn it um, upside down and I'm going to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm now going to remove the tin from my cake very gently. Ta-da! There it is! <laughs> I've made some uh, ice and sugar and uh, hot water and uh, I'm going to now put it on top of uh, the cake. You need to move uh, quite you need to move quite fast with this because it will uh, thicken up very very quickly. The hole in the middle is not helping me. <laughs> Actually, I'll put some in there as well. I've added a little cream of pistachios to my icing sugar and water to give a little bit of uh, color contrast with the, the yellow of the marzipan. I'm using the wrong tool. Julie will tell me off. Now we'll do the sides as well. This stuff is incredibly sticky. Okay, so the cake is uh, nearly ready. Um, next part is about making it pretty. Um, I did look for some Sicilian uh, candies yesterday and this is the best I could find really. Uh, I got some um, jelly babies but also got some cherries and uh, some uh, um, lemon and orange peels. So I'm going to just uh, get creative and place a few candies on top. I 
we'll sprinkle some uh, lemon and orange candy what they called mixed peel a few jelly babies <laughs> and uh, some lemon some orange some whatever this is and there it is my pandoro cassata siciliana style is uh, finished it has been resting now for half an hour it will test much better overnight uh, if you leave it in the fridge overnight tomorrow and uh, it will last in the fridge bear in mind this is ricotta it will last for four or five days in the fridge i am not sure who is gonna eat it <laughs> as it's very rich but uh, i'm sure that uh, we will definitely give it a good shot i um, would recommend if you have got leftover panettone or leftover pandoro or indeed you can make it with a sponge cake as i said before give it give it a shot try you don't have to make such a big quantity either or indeed this shape i'm going to try a little um just for the benefit of the video i will uh, cut a little slice maybe from over here yeah you can see there you can see the lovely filling of ricotta with chocolate chips a lot around it and uh, it looks quite pretty as well <laughs> let's uh, let's try a little Mm. Mm. delicious very rich but the pandora is quite light and actually it's not as heavy as a sponge cake and uh, it makes it uh, a nice uh, comfortable cake to eat lovely really nice i'm pleased i made it i would say try a piece but <laughs> not possible so i'll carry on myself um Mm. Mm -hmm. well hopefully i've entertained you and um, you're enjoying my cooking and my baking and um, i would uh, really appreciate if you were to subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying it and uh, as i said before it will help me grow it and uh, reach other people and hopefully have some fun ciao ciao for now and uh, thank you very much for watching bye